So this year marks the 17th year of White & Case's global partnership of the Jessup. As a global partner, we're always looking for ways to celebrate and promote the competition and the students who participate. With this in mind, last year we established an award to honor a Jessup alumni who has had an impact on the legal profession and in the wider world. Jessup alumni have gone on to do, have very impressive and important careers, making a difference in the world as lawyers, judges, professors, government officials, and leaders. I firmly believe, as do all of us at White & Case, that the next generation of world leaders will emerge from the Jessup community. That is, this is what makes the Jessup and experience the students share here so important. Our hope is that this award will remind you of who are participating today, just how distinguished the members of the alumni community are and inspire you to do great things. For this award, we look for a visionary leader with a commitment to international cooperation, the world of law and the legal profession. And this year, I am delighted to announce that the recipient of the award is Judge Florence Mumba. Judge Mumba is a leading jurist who has made a significant contribution to the study and practice of international law. In 1980, Judge Mumba was the first woman appointed as High Court Judge in Zambia. She represented Zambia on the Conference of Women in 1985 and the African Regional Conference on Women in 1994. As a member of the UN Commission on the Status of Women, she participated in drafting resolution to the General Assembly to have rape included as a war crime in the jurisdiction of war crime tribunals. When Judge Mamba served on the International Commission of Jurists, she participated in drafting the Protocol on African Charter on Human and People's Rights on the establishment of the African Court of Justice in 1995. And in 1997, she was elected judge of the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, serving as vice president from 1999 to 2001. And from 2003 to 2005, she served as the Appeals Chamber of the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia and the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. Judge Mamba is currently serves as a full-time judge at the Supreme Court Chamber of the Extraordinary Chambers of the Courts of Cambodia. The ECCC was established to try senior leaders the Khmer Rouge for viol alleged violations of international law and serious crimes perpetrated during the Cambodian genocide. Throughout her career, Judge Mumba has fought to improve the law and use it to change the world for better. And I hope you are inspired to bring a similar desire and compassion to your careers. I am deeply honored and humbled to present the White and Case Distinguished Jessup Alumni Award to Judge Florence Mumba. And now very pleased to hear some words from her herself. Thank you very much for this award. Um, I was pleasantly surprised when I received the information because um, I participated in the uh, JSAP competition in 1972. <laughs> Uh, the University of Zambia Law School decided to participate in this competition. I was then in my final year as a law student. Um, we were of the view that the competition was promising and uh, our lecturers felt that uh, the competition struck a chord on the development of international law and they were hopeful that the JSAP competition, international law competition, would uh, progress and grow over the years 
as it has now done. Um, myself and uh, now Professor Isaac Do uh, teamed up for this auspicious competition in the same way you have done this year, 2023. We were pioneers in that respect, but we deeply believed that the future of the JSAP International Mood Competition um, struck a chord, as I have said, in the development of international law. And we were right, because when you look at the tremendous progress that has been done over the years, that has been achieved over the years up to this year, 2023, is so huge. So many countries have come on board, so many law schools have come on board, and I must say it's quite a stiff competition. It really calls for the best brains, the best students. So in that way, we are grateful to the organizers of uh, this uh, auspicious competition because it is developing our international lawyers, our future judges, our future counsel before the International Court of Justice, which we respect so much. You are participating in the um, world's largest boot court competition. Therefore, consider this. Your presence in this place right now is a setup for greater achievements in your careers. The scope of international law is continuously expanding. The International Court of Justice continues to be loaded by its far-reaching judgments and opinions, fostering the importance of peaceful resolution of disputes between states, resolutions which affect um, the citizenry in the states in different ways. For counsel appearing before the International Court of Justice, it is a rewarding experience it, that they contribute to the acceptance of universal values, which are now seeping through global populations as, the, uh, as we tackle human rights, financial stability, and coexistence in all the regions of the world. As GSAP competitors, you are learning skills in interpretation and drafting of treaties, conventions, multilateral agreements, and advocacy, ad advocacy skills that will forge you into successful lawyers. The complex JSAP World Competition provides a forum for skillful training and drives students towards excellence as they judge. When I'm sitting as a judge, I enjoy adjudicating cases in which the parties are well prepared, daringly skilled, and precise in their knowledge of the law and they are logical in thought and word. JSAP Moot Court apply, JSAP Moot Court competitions apply international law as we find it, giving competitors the edge over those who do not participate in these competitions. Indeed, these are trials for both lawyers and judges. More importantly, as legal practitioners in training, I urge you to believe in yourself, your abilities, and maintain a drive for the will to, to, to earn you a deserved place in the legal fraternity. Worldwide, you must therefore always be careful about the substance of your work, always aspire to inspire others, and properly conduct yourselves, engage with rigor, and have a deep understanding of international law, integrity, ethics, mutual respect for your colleagues and others, and a strong sense of duty will help sustain you. You will be filled with desire and dedication to impact the world, winning the cause of justice and upholding the rule of law. Questions, the question which is, which is before you now is this. Are you going to be an asset or, an uh, or a liability in our profession? The answer lies in your daily commitment and obligations whether in interacting in a wider sphere or in your home countries, assisting state governments in positioning themselves as drivers of peace and human development towards positive neighborliness as humanity forges ahead. I wish you all success. Thank you for listening.